Good morning, one million cups. Good morning. How are we doing, everybody? Good morning. Awake. Happy Wednesday to all. Hope everybody has their coffee. That's fantastic. Uh, we're excited to welcome the speaker, actually from out of town. Um, so yeah, right. <laughs> welcome to normal, or sort of. Um, so Matt joins us from Peoria. He's with Freelance Kit. He's a media aficionado. Um, this particular business that he has helps out uh, creative types with some business templates, and we're pleased to have him here. Come on, Matt. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming, and uh, thanks to Joe and uh, everyone here for at Slingshot for allowing me to come and speak. So, uh, give you a quick kind of rundown of what Freelance Kit is, um, what they are. They're templates for creative freelancers. Um, so, anywhere from your invoices to your contracts to you know, if you do storyboards, you know, if you're a photographer, you're a designer, or if you're a filmmaker, those those that's our niche market. Um, and so, we have produced templates for that avenue. Um, but to give you a little bit of history of where it came from, um, I started out uh, in high school designing my own websites. I had my own uh, product, well not production, but more design company um, in high school. And you know, you look back at what you did and you're like, wow, people actually paid for that kind of work, you know? And, uh, but uh, you learn, you grow. And uh, so in high school, I went from designing websites to doing graphic design to Blackhawk College in Moline uh, for design. And then transitioned from there when I realized that film was my passion, um, fully transitioned the business into the film side. Um, and so from there, years later, fast forward, you know, through internships, through traveling Europe, producing video content, um, came back and said, okay, I'm doing solely video production. And from that, you know, eight years later, that's where Freelance Tech came from. Um, and it came from the idea, it was born out of the idea basically that um, I kept seeing this huge need of freelancers failing at what they were doing. Um, they, were, they were awesome at photography, they were awesome at videography, they were awesome at design, but they failed to run the business. They didn't know how to invoice their clients well, they didn't know how to pitch their projects to them, they didn't know what to do when it came to just how do, I, how do I conduct myself in an interview, or how do I conduct myself in a meeting? And so um, I said, well, there's these resources that I'm using in my own video business, and this is something that I can turn into a product and I can help other freelancers be successful. And so from that, that's where this came from. We have 25 resources um, available as templates. So they're Mac pages and they're Microsoft Word documents. Um, and so it, it allows freelancers to take their, their, their business to the next level. Um, you know, there, there's a guy that, you know, I'll hire several subcontractors when I'm working on different video production, you know, productions. And I'll say, hey guys, send me an invoice. You know, send me something, you know, I, I need it for my, you know, taxes, for my paperwork, for my business. And you know that, you know, hey, we can do business together. And they'll send me an Excel spreadsheet. I was like, wow, I hope, you know, it's, it's like, I hope you're not sending this to your clients uh, because as I tell a lot of people, say, okay, your brand is not just your finished product. So it's not just your, your end photo, it's not just your end video, it's not just, oh, here's our brochure. Uh, your brand is, what does your business card look like? It's also, how do you talk to your client? It's, what does your invoice look like? What does your contract look like? And so, the freelance kit documents um, take you to that next level. It, it takes you from just kind of copy and pasting content into a contract and saying, oh, I hope this works, you know, I hope it looks official, to actually it is pre-approved by lawyers um, so that it is legal, so that it does allow you to defend yourself if, you know, someone says, hey, you didn't do this, it's like, well, no, actually, it's in the contract, you signed it, it's official, um, so you can defend your own business that way, uh, to anything, just invoices and estimates and quotes, and uh, if you want to pitch a project to a, to a client. So. Um, yeah, so there, there, there are resources to where, you know, like I said, was tired of seeing freelancers continue to fail. And I, you know, I said, enough is enough. You know, I had friends that were photographers that were great at what they were doing, but because they didn't know how to invoice well, because they didn't know how to conduct themselves as a business, um, they were receiving payments late in the game. So the, the project was already finished, the client would take forever to, to pay them back. Well, that affects your business, that affects how you run, that affects you know, investing in equipment it affects how you then go out and pursue other opportunities. Um, and so uh, now we have these uh, freelance kit templates available. Um, 
We also, keep in mind, uh, you guys afterwards, uh, you go on online, scroll to the bottom of the homepage, and you can sign up for our newsletter, newsletter email, and you get two free uh, resources. Uh, so just a way to kind of test things out and see what you like. We, we, we give a storyboard, and we'll give an invoice uh, for those free resources. Uh, and also, um, there are other documents on there. We have 30 second commercials on every resource. You can go to our YouTube page, you can see all the the information of what what each one would look like, um, and then uh, yeah, so it's, it's 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 our niche market. Like I said, is for photographers, designers, and and and, uh, um, and filmmakers. Um, if if you've ever has anyone ever listened to Johnny Dumas in uh, Entrepreneurs on Fire? Okay, yeah, a couple people. Um, he always talks about um, go one mile wide or uh, one inch wide and one mile deep. He said too many people go one mile wide and one inch deep, and so then they're trying to be all things all people, and you don't ever get anywhere. Um, you're, you're suddenly, you're becoming very, very unskilled in, in, in several things, you know, jack of all trades, masters of none. Um, and so, like, okay, yes, there are plenty of other freelancers. I mean, I've talked to, uh, uh, not podcasters, I've talked to uh, partners, and said, oh, it'd be great if you had a, a marketing kit, it'd be great if you had an illustration kit. It's like, that's great, we can pursue that down the road, but, Let's focus, we're just going to focus right now on our niche and where we're at right now. Um, and so that's, that's these three categories where we're at. And, uh, so yeah, so that's Freelance Kit um, in a nutshell. Um, and then really just would, would be curious to hear your, your questions, but also would like to hear from you guys, because obviously you have your own businesses, you're freelancers. I'm curious as to kind of some of your struggles, your pain points, and, and maybe see how Freelance Kit can be of use to you guys. Yes. Okay, I'm a charmer, so I do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You're, you're my market, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Because in Peoria, there was two creatives out of 15 people, so I was like, this, this is great. <laughs> no, I've always, I've struggled with, I have not done things right in my business for the longest time, and I know that. And I listen to John Lee Dumas all yes. the time, so I know, like, I need to niche down and all that. But on the back end, like I struggled with the CRM management um, and the and right now I'm using FreshBooks. So if you do invoicing that way, how does it intertwine with a, an invoicing system like that and your accounting and all that? Excellent question. So these are templates, obviously, like I said, um, and they they are for young startups or for individual freelancers like yourself. Um, <coughs> those resources are there for basically for people who don't have a thing. Uh, you can use Billings for Mac, you can use FreshBooks, you can use QuickBooks. That's there, I, I understand that, that's there, but there, there are uh, people with startups that they just need something. Um, and so, yes, you're going to have your own templates within, within your QuickBooks or within your FreshBooks like that. Um, these are for, they're branded, they're, all the resources are branded for your company. So, um, one thing I didn't explain in terms of like LegalZoom. LegalZoom, you pay an average of 10, 15 bucks for a resource, uh, for a contract order. But all you get is a Word doc with text on it. That's it. Our documents are designed by professional graphic designers. So, as I said earlier, it takes your business to the next level in terms of how you come across in your brand to your clientele. Um, so yes, you can use QuickBooks, you can use uh, you know FreshBooks, like you said, um, and that's fine. Um, if you get the whole kit, like I said, there's 25 resources, so, um, okay, yeah, you have your own invoicing, that's fine, uh, but it at least gives you a, a design, a template to use, uh, if you so choose. So, great question, though, great question. Well, as we said earlier when I stepped out, the, the 25 resources, what what are they? Exactly. Um, How do they break so, I mean, you could, you could come, pull it up if you wanted to, but basically you have, uh, without going through the whole list, um, yeah. you know, you have your, you have, I have, we have seven legal, seven, yeah, seven legal templ uh, templates. So contracts, limit license agreements. So if you have a, a one term use photography, for example, if you sell in one to have your stuff in a museum, you have a limit use uh, contract. Uh, we have basic contracts. Um, so within my business, um, I have limited uses and, and unlimited usage. And so it depends on what the client, how they're going to be using the product in the end, end result. Uh, we have a depiction release, we have a location release, uh, we have, like I said, in, we have an invoice estimate, we have, uh, for example, uh, a, a product proposal. So if, if I'm a photographer, if I'm a free uh, filmmaker, and a client says, hey, 
we want you to do these three videos. I said, okay, that's great. But the entrepreneur in me is like, okay, that's awesome, but I'm also going to pitch to you some other ideas because I think you need this, this, and this as well. So I will, I will show them a PDF of not just their three that they want, but also, hey, you could use five testimonials and you could also use you know, a commercial spot. Um, and that's all within there. There's descriptions, there's pictures, there's thumbnails, there's links to other work. So, you know, say, hey, you're, you're a golf client. Well, we have, there, here's this Nike spot that we love. And we think that this, would, this style would go well with what you're doing. Um, and so there's resources like that that I use in my own business uh, when I'm pitching to clients to, 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 in, to inform them, but not also inform them, but to get them inspired about, okay, you're not just hiring a company that pushes a red button. You're hiring a company that actually thinks outside the box, that actually is creative, that maybe gives you suggestions and ideas that you haven't thought of before. Um, and so I've had I've had freelancers that have bought the, the resources already. And they're like, wow. They said, you know, we're we're getting bigger clients now because of the resources that we're using. Because we're com we're not just coming across as a hobbyist. We're actually being treated as a serious business. Hmm. Um, so, great question, by the way. Hmm. Did you want to ask the? Yeah, well, let's ask the one million cups question. What can one million cups do for you? What can you guys do for me? Uh, so. Basically, what you guys can do for us is just spread the word. Uh, we're always looking for affiliate partners, people that are connected with other freelancers, such as yourselves at Slingshot, um, and just getting the word out to creative freelancers and, and get them aware of you know, what, what we have here to offer them. Um, and so yeah, that's, you know, and, and I would love to hear kind of um, just your guys' stories in terms of, you know, some, some pain points you've seen um, you know, like, because obviously, as as you know, creative freelancers, it's okay. Yes, there are five different companies out there that do the same thing. Well, m maybe none of them do what you need to have done. You know, I'm, I'll download an app, but I don't just download one. I download three or four or five, and then I find okay, which one do does the best for mm -hmm. my my usage? You know, what do I need to have done? And so, um, would love to just you know, best way to help out basically just yeah, get the word out. Would love to. Uh, get into other markets, you know, we're in other co-working spaces as well, we're reaching out to, um, you know, we work, we, we're at Tech Artista down in uh, St. Louis, um, just getting out there and getting to those other creative freelancers. So. Do you have business cards? Uh, uh, not freelance kit, business cards I don't, but you can go online to freelancekit.com, um, really easy, go right on there, like I said, scroll to the bottom, get your free resources. Also, for you guys, uh, if you do want to buy, uh, resources so you can there there are kits for every every avenue and then within each uh, if you go to film photo or design we also have individual resources so we have three that you can buy just one um, if if you don't want to buy the whole kit um, you know we have we have some freelancers like you know what I just need a contract I don't need your whole kit all right great so it's there as well um, but if you do buy use the coupon code slingshot 2016. That will give you 10% off Sweet. on nice. anything that you buy. So. I do have a question for you. Yes. So since you guys don't integrate into QuickBooks or any, you know, uh, mm -hmm. any of the other systems that you know deal with invoicing and things like that, I, I guess maybe just my knowledge. I wouldn't. I would think that with all of these resources, because anybody can download a lot of these programs now for free, mm -hmm. and not only do they give you the templates, but everything you know integrates and into the system and they make it so easy now for people even that are you know just starting their business and only making a few hundred dollars a month to actually use those resources mm -hmm. so is there how big is the market for what you guys are doing since it's not integratable with anything else mm -hmm. I, i'm just curious i would think exactly. that 90 percent of people are you know mm -hmm. going after that i mean Yes. Is, is that why you guys niche down on like photographers and things like that? Yeah, well, I mean, as, I mean, great, great question, by the way. Um, and as you know, um, you niche because you don't, like I said, you don't want to get all things off people. That it never works. Never works. Uh, but in terms of the, the resource, if you look at the list, the full list, it's not just, don't think just, uh, you know, what you get in QuickBooks. It's not just a profit and loss statement. You're not just getting a, an invoice. It's more than that. It's it, it's tailored towards creatives. Um, so you know it, it's not you know you're not going with QuickBooks. They're not going to give you the picture release. They're not going to give you a location release. They're not going to give you um, a contract. 
that goes over uh, in terms of a two-page document, three-page document of everything that protects you as a company uh, within your project. So, well, it seems like that's the that's more of the the bigger value to this. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, the interesting part there's a couple yes. of things that, so that you know, yeah, you can't be all things all people. Yes. Yeah. And you know you can't compete with a QuickBooks that sort of does everything. So, it, it, so yeah, to, to more to more what you're saying, the the invoice and estimate is more an added benefit to the person that so buys that's it. The part. That's the small part. Exactly. Okay. I was yes. thinking that's a bigger. Part. Yes. No. Sorry. So like the location release and everything like that. So you said that's all you guys had it all covered by like lawyers or yes. something like that. So when it transfers over to me or like Dawn as a photographer mm -hmm. wants to use like location release because it's at somebody's house and she mm -hmm. wants to use the pictures or something. Yes. It's it's gonna cover her transfers over to yes. legal protection. Yes. So what what we have, we have uh, we have um, the fine print in there basically says, you know, you still need to have like for example, is you'll still want to have your, your lawyer look at it, um, just be safe. But look at it this way. Uh, when you have a lawyer create a document for you, they charge anywhere from 150 bucks and upwards to five hundred dollars per hour. <coughs> You can buy a contract for twenty five bucks from us. Mm. Th think of the savings there. You know, <laughs> and if you have like I, I actually hired my lawyer because I already had these documents with what I was doing. But just like I bet a lot of you have done, or you know people that have done, you copy and paste things. You're like, oh, I like what they used here. I mean, I did that you know twenty, you know, fifteen years ago. I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and I was like, okay, I am now getting high end clients. I. I can't run on hmm. contracts like this. They'll, 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 they'll sue me out of the water because I can't <laughs> defend myself. And uh, so I had my lawyer work through everything. Okay, you need to change this. You need to add this paragraph here. You need to do this here. And so then we did that. And then from there, I said, okay, I'm doing this thing called Freelance Kit. We now need to brand these for this department, this avenue. Um, and so you still want your own personal lawyer to go it, but it's going to take him an hour tops to go through it and just make sure it works for your business. Um, but better than you know, spend a thousand bucks. Yeah. Trying to do a document. Just yeah. No, that's a great question. That's a good question. Um, one of the things I, I think, what this helps a lot with, you know, when you're talking about people use QuickBooks and things like that. I know a lot of uh, freelancers, designers, especially, they don't have anything. It's mm -hmm. maybe a spreadsheet. They, mm -hmm. QuickBooks would be like, well, that's a huge step up. So I can see where this would fit in a huge group of people that. Uh, really are just, they're, it's almost like they're keeping pieces of paper and they're kind of tracking on the computer a little bit and they forget it. I have several that are like, oh, I forgot to bill somebody. Mm -hmm. It's like, have you built them yet or partially built them? Oh, no, I'm not done yet. Well, you've been doing this for three months, this one project, but you haven't built one time and you're going to start forgetting things. So this would definitely be something for them. Mm -hmm. Also, too, with the lawyer thing is that I've noticed just working with other people, uh, small businesses, uh, there's always a threshold of, well, I don't make that much, I don't need to talk to a lawyer if they cost too much, I'll just go online, online and just copy and paste, copy and paste. Mm -hmm. And there's, it, you can get away with that for a very long time until one day you have something. Until you need that. Until yeah. you need it, and then you realize, oh, now I'm, it's too late. Yep. But then for them, most people think, well, I work with trustworthy people, why would I ever need a lawyer to look at a doctor? <laughs> They're trustworthy exactly. until you find the true colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so usually you find that one person that uh, is out there. But so yeah, there is that. So I mean, it's it's nice to uh, have a nice boilerplate. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I always advise people to it, when it's when you're getting more serious about more intricate type jobs, you want to have some type of legal. Definitely. Legal. And in, in terms of when you're talking about you know when to invoice a client or we're hearing back from them um, on that segue on to that same type of scheduling. Um, some of the resources we have is a you know a prospect um, timeline. So you put in your initial time when you contacted a client that you wanted that you want to work with, and then it prorates out. Okay, you should you should reach out to them this time. Reach out to them at this time. Um, also, for example, your project timeline. So if you do a project, okay, here's when I started it. Here are basic steps to go through. You can add more rows. It's like Excel. You can add more rows. You can add more options to okay. I need to do these five more steps, or here are, here are the basic steps to go through with, with a project. Um, because there's a lot of creative freelancers that are just like, they wing it, and like, okay, the client says we're done, we're done, and that's a bill. All right, we're done. It's like, well, 
that may work, but if you want to be professional, if you want to gain the, get the big clients, if you want to move into a next tier of, of your business, you need to have things um, in order. It has to be organized. Um, and that's where a lot of, a lot of creatives struggle. Um, they, they love what they do, they have a passion for it, which is great, but a lot of them don't have that business mindset, so these resources help them with that aspect. Um, and so. Did you make it look all pretty and everything? What's that? Like it looks all pretty and everything, and you just put your logo on it? Is that yeah, it's, okay. Yes, great Do you have question. Like examples of what something looks like? Uh, I, I can show you on my phone, I can show you on my oh, iPad, okay. show you on the laptop. Um, you can go on, on YouTube, and we have 3 second commercials for every resource. You can see what it looks like inside. Um, but yes, you can change your colors, you can change the logos, you can even change the structure. So what we want to do is, the, the best model, as you guys know, is the subscription model. But I said, okay, what's the quickest way to get this out to freelancers with the, the lowest you know, cost to, to my business, you know, to, to, to do this? It was templates. I said, okay, so you, these, they're templates. So I was, okay, freelancers are creative, and that's who we're going after. Well, they also, they like to tweak, they like to modify. I mean, shoot, I do that. You know, I, I hate it when I get a camera that has five buttons. I just, I, it's like, no, 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 I want to be able to, to modify this to death. I want to be able to change everything. I want the buttons to do something different. I'm creative. I see things differently. And so with the templates, you can change the colors. You can change the logo. You can change the, the verbiage, obviously. You have to do that for your own business. But you can also change the layout if you want. This is a template to get you started. Think of it as a foundation um, to, to go off, to springboard into how you want it to, you know, to, to uh, work within your own company. Is it also like updated um, stuff? Like I've been doing photography for 16 years mm -hmm. and I have templates of old stuff I got from photographers yes. way back then. But you know, honestly, like it's all in folders and I don't even know where this yes. stuff is. Yep. Kind of a thing. And I don't even know if it's up to date anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, so your basic question is, you know, say say Mac comes out with a, a new version of pages, what's gonna happen? That's your that's your Or question. even have word the legal part of it. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So the, the with so that with that, um, if if Microsoft Word or Mac Pages came out with a new version of their software, um, yes, we would update it. And when we upload the new resource because it's been updated, you'll get an email saying, "Hey, you can download the, the resource." Now, great. You'll have to change the colors back to what you need. But that's where that's that's where I see the the, the that's where I envision for this company where I see it as and turn it and turn it into an app. Because that way, then you could just put in your information, boom, 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 and then we have a PDF. Uh, but as you all know, creating an app is not cheap to do it right. And so we're like, okay, what's the best way to get this started and just get this out there for your answers? Great question. I've got a question. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I'm not a photographer or anything like that, but I am starting a startup and we're in the process of doing a Kickstarter video. Mm -hmm. And so just yesterday, I had five different film release forms up and I have no idea what I'm looking at when I'm looking through them. So is this of any help to me in terms of for Kickstarters, I want to make sure that I film people using the product and then have complete rights to actually use that for future anything. Exactly. Do you, have you done videos in the past? Do you have your own production company? No. Okay. No, okay. nothing. So yes, the uh, so <coughs> film side there's, there's and also photography as well. Um, there's templates okay. for a detection reasonable location release. Okay. So that allows you to film on spot. It also allows you to, if you have an actor or an actress, it mm -hmm. um, allows you to be able to use their likeness, their voice, their face, cool. everything about them, um, and it protects you. It, it gives all rights for them. You know, for example, last year I filmed a, a, an elderly lady using a medical product. Um, mm -hmm. So we had, okay, you need to fill out this depiction form so that we can use your face, we can use your voice, we can use, you know, we didn't, we, we used her, her interview, so that's where we used her voice, we used her likeness in everything that she was doing within the video. Um, so it protects you in terms of um, when you're filming mm -hmm. um, on the site. So, cool. great question. And then we'll be. Just a quick question. Yes. Do you guys have a program? We do, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you go on our website, uh, we have uh, we have five uh, affiliates right now, and uh, we're always looking for more people to bring on board. So, what else? So I work for the Economic Development Council here, and we actually just yesterday 
got someone who came in and was like, I have a business, I have no idea what to do now. Like, I have an idea. So, we like directed into some resource for like business models, whatever. Um, hopefully, they'll call some chat soon. But, um, <laughs> we gave him all the information. But, so say he is a photographer, we didn't even ask him what his business was. Okay. He was just like, no idea. Yeah. So, I imagine him coming to the site and being like, okay, what kit is right for me? Do you mm -hmm. have like that interactive, like, questionnaire someone really has no idea what they're doing or is that not is mm -hmm. it kind of like you explain all the resources and hopefully the light bulb just clicks for them yeah so they yeah so if you if you um if when you scroll down um you'll see the three kits um or you can click on your pack so this right away says okay am i in film am i in photo or am i in, in my design okay. um, and that's it so um you can see right away so if you click on one go ahead and click on one for me there Joe. I should have left the Sorry. <laughs> I asked the best <laughs> So, um, we have a, you know, a basic, so it tells you about the branding guideline, you know, and what's inside of there. Um, then there's a list of all the resources. Um, and so if, if you're, if you're a business owner or you're wanting to be a business owner, but you have no clue as to what you want to do, well, you need to get over that hurdle first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and like I said, we've niched down to just three avenues. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what we're doing. So do you have like, um, you said storyboards, is that like a business model template or? No, storyboards would be, for example, for a Kickstarter video. Um, so when you do a commercial, you say, okay, generally speaking, especially Hollywood, they storyboard everything. They edit on paper first before, or, or animatics you know, on the computer before they go into filming um, to save as much money as possible on set. Um, so you have you have your basic you know squares. You can download storyboards anywhere, and you know that's why we give it as a free resource to so just oh. let people have it. Uh, but it, it allows you to um, to you you, you know if, if you, you don't have to be an artist. You just design what you think the frame should be. Here's our first shot. Camera should push in this way. Should dolly that way. Should jib this way. Um, and you can put a you know description to write information underneath that. It helps your creative team to understand where you're taking the commercial, or where you're taking the production, uh, because a lot of money is wasted when you just wing it. You know, <laughs> uh, I've been on shoots where um, we may have spent eight hours when we could have spent four. Um, and, and think of the money that we could have saved um, if we would have been you know if you want to multiply that by week. You know, say we did something for Apple, and we just winged it. Well, all right, we just spent two weeks filming, and I paid everyone two weeks, and we had you know hotels and food expenses and rental cars and all and, and airline things like that. If we would have storyboard, if we would have had a, a, a process in place, like okay, we really only need to be here for four days, and so in the end, it actually saves you production costs. So that's what a, a storyboard template is. Great question. Though. So you have some nice mugs back there. Yeah, I was going to say, these are so So cool. by the way, are they, free? they are free. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. You're, you're putting them in your house, aren't you? Yeah, you're <laughs> <actually like coffee. laughs> they're, they're free for you guys to have. Um, get them now, get them on your, on your way out, um, and enjoy them. So it's an expensive marketing tool right there. <laughs> okay, what did you say? I said, that's an expensive marketing tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, enjoy them. So, uh, yeah. We figured, you know what, a lot of freelancers uh, drink a lot of coffee and laundry fuel, and uh, I attest to that. I love my coffee, and it's like, well, you know what? It's a great way to uh, get the name out there and uh, just enjoy uh, what we do. So, yeah, feel free to take a mug, and uh, feel free to, you know, hit me up with other questions if you're like, oh, I just thought another one, you know, or hey, can we, can we talk about this aspect of my business? I'm curious, what do you do in this situation? So. Um, I prefer to hear from other people and, and kind of where they've been and what they've done and maybe you have to have questions of what to do next. So. What is your name again? Matt Blick. I am sorry. Matt, Matt Blick. What? Yes. B-L-I-C-K. B -L -I -C -K. Yes. I did not even say that. I'm sorry. Just like, wait, what? Are you using for your film business? Are you using what's on here? Yes. Okay. Well, that's where, that's where it came from. Okay, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still, right. are you That's what they just asked. No, I don't even use them like that. That was actually a softball for you. Yeah. yeah. So. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a great question. It's a great question, yes. And, and, yeah. and like I said, that's where these, they're born out of. Okay. 
uh, yeah. I have my own yeah. yeah. company. I was like, I'm already using those resources. And I was being su successful. I was able to support myself in my own business. And I saw these all these other guys and gals failing with their guys. Like, this doesn't need to happen. Like, either they're undercharging or they're not charging properly. They're not, they don't have a structure. <coughs> so people see that as a hobby. So it's like, okay, something needs to change here. Um, and so, yes, yeah, we use these resources. So, great question. That'd be a great opener. Okay. <laughs> I will note I will that down. Thank right. you. Any other questions from Matt before we open it up to open networking and plenty of coffee as everyone's going to yeah. the back? No? Well, I'll a round of applause for Matt. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Um, next week, uh, we're going to have a company called Fitface. They have a social fitness app that they're going to preview with us. So, it should be a great time. Hope to see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you.